All right, January is moving right along. January is our month, and we are going to add our date. There we go. Today is January 7th, 2021. If we want to know the day of the week, we look across the top of our calendar here because there's our there are our days. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Check out the 7th right here. Go straight up the calendar and it tells you today starts with a TH. So your tongue, go, tongue goes between your top and your bottom teeth. And TH, when it goes together, makes the sound. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. This week is zooming by. All right, so today is Thursday. Let's take a look. Here's today, Thursday. Go back to what yesterday was. Starts with that W, that W, W sound. It was Wednesday. Yesterday was Wednesday. Knowing your days of the week the way you do, Wednesday, Thursday, tomorrow will be Yep, tomorrow will be Friday. All right, let's take a look at our months of the year. So we have these down pat. We know right now we're in the month of January, the very first month of the year. We finished up right before break with December, which was the last month of the year. And when you get to that last month of the year, December, when December is over, you start all over again with a new year. 2021. So here we go. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in each year. All right, let's go ahead and review our 2D shapes. We have circle, triangle, rhombus, square and rectangle. Those are our 2D or our flat shapes. Now let's check out those 3D shapes. The sphere, cube, cylinder, prism, pyramid, and the cone. Yesterday was our 90th day of school, 90th day. So we need to add one more day. So we're at 91, 91. And so we better go over here and grab ourselves a cube. We have 91 days of school, which means we have been in school for nine tens, and there they are, nine tens, and one, one, and there it is. So let's go ahead and count those. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 91. And let's check out our mystery number today. Remember, we're working with the teens. And the teens mean that there's a 10 and some extra ones. So right there we have 110. There it is, all filled up that 10 frame. And how many extra ones? One, two, three, four extra ones, which means our mystery number is 14. This is how you would represent 14 using your 10 frames. Our story problem today, a fishy is again, and this time there's a group of three blue fish swimming in the ocean, and they meet a group of three pink fish swimming the other direction. So now I want to know how many fish there are all together. And when I say that, that means I'm putting those groups together. I am using the plus sign because plus means we're putting things together. So I have three blue fish plus three pink fish, which means I have how many fish all together? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are six all together, which means three plus three equals six. Read that number sentence with me, and don't forget to read the plus sign and the equals sign. Read that number sentence with me. Three plus three equals six. All right. Ah, making tens, making tens. We have how many red dots? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight red counters. And how many yellow counters? And I bet you know how many yellow counters there are. Without even counting, you are subitizing. Your brain is so good at numbers, it knows that there are two yellow counters without even counting them. So we know that eight and two more 
equals 10. So read that number sentence with me. 8 plus 2 equals 10. That's another way to make 10s. All right, we were at our 91st day of school. So we are counting all the way to 91, which means we are on that last row of our 100s chart now. So here we go. Count with me. It's really important because in the unit that we're working on in math, one of the things we'll be doing toward the end of the unit is making sure we can count by ones, by fives, and by tens all the way to 100. So here we go. Let's practice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. We made it. Take a breath. Nice. And like I said, um, part of this math unit that we're in right now is also being able to count to 100 by 5. So let's practice that right now. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Now, did you notice that all of our numbers either end with a five or end with a zero when we're counting by fives? And if you take a look over here at the 100 chart, everything that we, all the numbers that we say are either in this column or they're in this column when we're counting by fives. So it's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And that's just another cool pattern on that 100 chart. Like I said, we need to know how to count to 100 by tens also. So let's practice. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And all of those numbers are in the very last column on our 100 chart that we're using when we count by tens. All right, good job counting today and keep practicing.